Hello, welcome to my Cool Skills YouTube channel where I have some fun activities and exercises for the younger children to do at home. I'd just like to say a huge thank you to the parents, teachers and friends for sharing the first video that I did where you had to move as animals in your own home. I hope you had fun indeed and please, please, please continue to do so, okay? Continue to do it in the morning, do it in the evening, do it in the afternoons, any time throughout the day whilst you're having to be stuck at home at the moment, all right? And as most YouTubers would say, please like, please share, please subscribe, because I'm going to be putting more videos for younger children and older children as well to be active in their own homes for now, all right? So please like, please subscribe, and please share, and just think that we don't want to have our children doing absolutely nothing, okay? We need to be keeping them active as much as possible. So, let's get into it. Today, we're going to do some activities and exercises involving two things. One, a teddy. His name is Gummy, by the way, so say hello, Gummy. <laughs> and two, a cushion. Now, I bet you're thinking, how do I do some exercises and activities using a cushion and a teddy? You'll soon find out. So this exercise that we're going to do is called teddy bear circles or cushion circles. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our feet shoulder width apart and our teddy bear in the air. And all you're going to do is make big circles. One. Two, three, four, good stuff, keep going, and five, excellent. So now you're going to go the other way, back up in the air, five, four, three, two, good stuff, one more, and one. Excellent. So this time I would like you to have your teddy bear or your cushion above your head and your feet together like this and you're going to bring this down to your toes and back up. Okay, that's one. And two. And three. Nice and easy. Four. Good, one more, and five. Now this time, I'd like you to make your feet nice and wide and do the same thing all the way down to your toes. Let's go, and one, good, and two, keep going, three, excellent, four, and one more, and five. Good stuff. For the next activity, I would like you to set up your teddy bears or your cushions in a line in front of you like this, with a little bit of space in between, because you are now going to jump in between them, all right? So, have your hands together, feet together, a bit like Kenny the Kangaroo, and we're going to jump up. One, two, three, and then move back. And again, one, two, three and move back. Good stuff, let's keep going. Okay, bend those knees. One, two, three, and keep going back. Excellent, right. One, two, three. Good, 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 good. One, two, three. Good stuff. So the next thing I want you to do now is have your cushion or your teddy bear next to you like this. And all you're gonna simply do is make big leaps side to side over your cushion or teddy bear like this okay right let's go keep those knees nice and high so we're going side to side like this and if you really want to you can do two feet over jumps like this i'm happy with whatever you want to do just do whatever you're happy doing Keep pushing yourself, keep going. Good, good, good. Side to side. Excellent. So for this exercise, I would like you to have your teddy bears and your cushions 
around the room like this and all you're going to do is run around them and touch them with every single body part that you can think of. Let's go. So I'm moving around like this in between them and I'm going to touch one with my both hands like this. Then I might want to touch one with my foot like that. I'm moving backwards, I'm moving side to side. I might even want to use my head on that one and then moving around again and then I might want to use my elbow on this one and back up and move them around like this. Good. I might even want to use my bum and sit on that one. Yeah, you're going to find that one funny. Good. You're moving around. I might even want to use my knee and so on. How many different body parts can you think of, okay? I might even want to use my back like this and so on. I would like you now to get two cushions as these are going to be your lily pads. Imagine now your floor is the water and you're going to travel on the water with only your lily pads. You must not fall in and you must not touch the water at all. How are we going to do it? So I step on my first lily pad and put my second lily pad in front of me and step across and pick up the one behind. But I'm making sure that the space isn't too big, otherwise I touch the floor. So I'm gonna make it nice and small so I can step across and move along the water. Do your absolute best, okay? And if you fall in by an accident, it's okay. We all do it sometimes. But as you can see, I haven't fell in the water just yet. But try your absolute best to make sure that you're stepping on your lily pads. Good stuff. So as you can see, I have a teddy on my head and what I'm going to do is walk around my room with this on my head, trying my absolute best for it not to fall off. Okay, so as you can see, I have my arms out like this and I'm moving around the room without it falling off. So it means I'm having to move as slow as I can go. And if it falls off, that's fine. Just pick it up and go again, okay? And if you think you can do it, try with using a cushion on your head. Okay, this might be a bit tricky, but just try anyway, okay? Like this, move around. Excellent. Do your absolute best to move around with whatever you want to move around with. Good. 